Here we are. We are in downtown Auckland, New Zealand. We've checked into our hotel, which is right on a main drag here in downtown. We have this nice little terrace, which is adorable. Let's in nice, nice cool air. And of course we've got a bunch of garbage. And we have this nice little kitchen, but we're working on how to turn the lights on in here. Because it's a little weird. You have to leave your card in the hole to turn the lights on. And it seems a little strange to us, but it's great. It ensures energy efficiency. You're it's, not here. It's energy efficient. Uh -huh. Yep, and Greg figured it out. We've got a nice little hob. <laughs> um, so I can cook rice and soup and whatever else we want. We've got a little teapot and a microwave and a fridge, which I need to turn on so it's cold when we get back. Oh, it is, Greg already checked. And look at this tiny little dishwasher drawer. So cute. So anyway, we're only here for one night, but it's going to be a really nice one and we're getting ready to walk to a little grocery store that the guy here told us about so i can get some chow just walked in the door of our hotel if you want to call it that in it's hamilton motel. it's motel, it's motel. and this is the retro motel oh i have a hair dryer should i want one and a whole little area to prepare and doors that can shut off this nice little master bedroom here. We can unload some of our things with extra blankets. <gasps> There's a fan! And a big fan! And a clothes dryer. This is so cool. There's a TV and some magazines and a newspaper and some beautiful art. We have a second bedroom over here. Which is so cute. We have a water heater and a dustpan. This is where we will eat our meals. Hooray! It's lovely to have a table. And then we walk around the corner, which can also be closed. And we have a bathroom with a heated towel bar. Oh, that's cool. Um, a special place to plug in shavers, which is adorable. Look at that. Shavers only. <laughs> Look at the scruffy little guy. Hair? No <laughs> hair. <laughs> oh, there's a sigh. Uh, bathtub. Once again, the spigot is really super low. Everyone here is short. And then we have our little kitchen. Ice. This is a special place for itty bitty milks. Oh, how cute is that? Or maybe eggs? Yeah, I will. And then we have all of our appliances. They have a scrubber. That's good. Last place didn't have a scrubber. Dishes. We are good to go. Oh, and I forgot. We have our own little outside with our own little garden. It's just lovely. Just lovely. We are going to have fun here. We're all packed up and headed off for Greg's bungee jump. Trunk is where our suitcases are. And as you can see, <laughs> that is on the wrong side of the car. Hi. Over here. <laughs> and... This is the little setup of this place. We were in room number 26B. And they're, they're cute little places. Um, we just rented half, half of one. And so it didn't have a cooktop, but it had a fridge and a microwave and that worked pretty well. I wasn't able to fry up or bake my potatoes, but I think the next place we're going is a full apartment. So it should have all those things. As you can see, it is a beautiful fall day. I could zoom in right over there on between the little cabins that is mountains and they are wreathed in clouds today. It is beautiful. 
and right over there on the other side of this little hill that we're sitting on is Lake Taupo and it is beautiful and very big and right on the way out of this little settlement <clears throat> is a beautiful vineyard this place actually has a vineyard and they you can go drink their wine at Cafe Pino which is as you're coming up the drive it's a really cool little place and very pretty too it's very chilly this morning it's 50 degrees and breezy we have made it to the Pohara beachfront motels and he upgraded us to a ocean view room so there you are looking directly at the ocean right there and it's over a little bluff which I will film later but for right now we have this beautiful little studio with a really well equipped kitchen the microwaves in that closet there's the fridge there's a little toaster oven everything that we could need is in there and then here's our bed and our large TV so we can while away evening hours that we're not at the ocean with the news or mystery murder mysteries and here is the bathroom hi and the shower head is high enough that we can fit underneath it that's a good thing <laughs> for us americans that seems like a necessary thing but apparently it isn't and Something very cool is looking out the back. It's forest right there. So very excited to be staying here. We're going to go for a walk to find some shops so that Greg can get some dinner along the beach. This is our really cute little apartment hotel in Wellington. We already started some laundry and I am steeping a nice cup of tea lemon tea decaf because it's nighttime. I've stacked up our cabinets with all of the stuff I will need to make yummy food. We have the cutest little fridge and lovely bed and look outside we're on the 10th floor. We walked all around and we found this great restaurant called the Pita Pit and I had a gluten-free, meat-free, dairy-free pita with all sorts of delicious vegetables inside. In fact, I made a list so I can recreate this delicacy at home. These are all the things that it had in it and possibly some more stuff that I forgot. But it was delicious. I'll show you a recipe for it later once I get back home again. And the paintings on the wall are even of the Wellington Harbor and it's just really cute. Greg is already organizing the internet so we can get that sorted out for tonight. <sighs> we made it. This is our lovely hotel in Franz Joseph. There's a chair, a couch, a coffee table where Greg I'm sure will be doing some computerizing. A bed. Look at the rainforest view out the back window. We have a nice little table, a heater, do not hang items or store items in front of the heater. A TV. Hi. <laughs> Here's our kitchen with teas. And we have all sorts of things to cook with. There's a little cooktop right there. Should I need it? Microwave. Here is a... Oh very modern and lovely bathroom this is the nicest place we've stayed in yet and look a whole other room for our suitcases and extra pillows all sorts of stuff and i am going to show you oh by the way i forgot the last two hotels we've been to they've given us a little complimentary milk for our coffee or our tea when we arrive which is just the sweetest thing and then I have to show you, you go out this door. Look at that. There's the mountain right there. And I believe that the glacier is up in there, the main glacier, but I'm not sure. It's a bit cloudy today, but it shouldn't 
always be cloudy, so we shall see. So, room number 14. Greg's bringing in stuff. This is our last room, room number one in Queenstown. <clears throat> Had a lovely shower. We're just leaving now, so that's why there's really nothing too much left, except for things we're not taking home. Plenty of beds, nice little seating area. There's the fridge and tea and coffee. Nice big TV. There's a Christie in the mirror. We have a really nice view at the front of those other little hotels. And then of course we have a beautiful view out the side of the Queenstown Bay. And this morning, oh, I should have videoed that too. There was a beautiful rainbow. And for a while it was even a double rainbow right over this bay. It was really gorgeous. So we're on our way to start our long journey home today. It will be a long one, but it will be enjoyable. Plenty of podcasts, plenty of good reading material. And on the really long flight, I may watch all of the Lord of the Rings movies right in a row. But we shall see.